In this video, we're going to focus on creating a very nice menu, which is very basic, but we're going to grab and loop all these items in here. You can see here it's being looped, but basically it's just only one line of code is being looped with all the data that we have, which are basically our data attributes or our data objects. So let's start to look how we can create this quickly. In this video, we're going to focus on creating a menu list and this is part of the point of sale elements in Vue.js. So we're going to use Vue.js here consistently uh, solving many different parts of a point of sale system. So let's start to look here. So what I want to do now in this video is I'm going to work here with Vue.js and I have this latest one here. If, or at least this is the newest one, you always got the newest Vue.js, but if you want, you can always go here to uh, cdnjs.com and search here for the exact file which is usually recommended and the main reason is it could have breaking changes however in our case this is just for uh, development this is a fine item to use so what we're going to do here now is I want to create a menu and this menu I want to loop over based on the items we have in our menu and this is really nice because when I started with Vue.js, I realized that Vue.js is basically having a feature that is a duplication of PHP, which is like a loop in here. So let's start to create something. So I'm going to create here a div, and this div, I will give it an ID name, and this will be the menu app. Menu div. And in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create here a another div with the name of, of or with the class of cards. And what I really want in this here is basically three items. I want here the image, so I'm going to say here image, I can say image source and I have the source here somewhere, let's see. I have this one here just stored on my uh, desktop or on my download folder, put it in here. And then next what I want to do eventually is I want to have here a paragraph and this paragraph will have the title which I put in span. We'll call it a title, so this could be let's say pizza one. And then what we have as well is probably a, a price. You can say here, here another span. And this span will be the price. And maybe here we can say dollar sign and then four ninety nine. That will be all right. And then finally we have as well a button. I can put it also here between. I'll just do it like that. So it's a little bit more organized. And you can say here a button that eventually would click. Of course, we were not going to work really much on the click functionality the focus is just to duplicate the list so in here button and then we say yeah, add. very straightforward if I save this now go back here there we are nothing fancy it looks all very basic so let's start to work here on the design a little bit so I'm going to say here the first thing is probably here we want to do the card the card should be a uh, we can say a border radius and this should be 20 pixels and what I want more is I want a border and this border will be solid one pixel black and then what I want to do here more uh, well if I save that let's see how it will work all right so that looks not that nice let's give this a proper width let's say 250 pixels but also some padding of 10 pixels and a margin of 10 pixels so if this here above here is just to default or reset everything that is a default setting and this one here is for specifically the card here all right so the card starts to look a little bit better image here needs to be sold as well so what you can do here in the image well, we can say here a class card uh, image img and now it's just a card image and then here eventually we'll say with 100% and 100% is relative to whatever is in the card and then here I would say maybe a border radius, a border radius, and then here's a 20, 20 pixel. Save this. You should see here now, there you are, we have a nice rounded design here, and it is here nicely uh, together with that. All right. So we have this here. We could do here maybe some padding bottom, doesn't matter. Maybe let's do a padding bottom and 10 pixels already. Save that, refresh. All right, so that's it button is the final design that I want to focus on and then we're going to focus on looping through this so we're going to say here uh, well for this case here button class let's say this add to basket 
and uh, normally I'll just say add basket here. I'm using more JavaScript uh, camel case structure. I'm so used to it, but usually in CSS they have like a dash between. It's a more common issue, it's a more common way of writing. Then here uh, we can say your uh, color or is that the border and the background color? I guess background color first. Background. And we can say here this would be a uh, royal blue. Very simple. Then I will say border. And I will say here um, one pixel solid royal blue as well. Save that. Refresh. There we are. Maybe here final one is color white to make the font white. Finally here padding. Left and right, let's say 10 pixels, and then a border radius. Border radius, 20 pixels as well. So we are very consistent. Save that, refresh, there we are. That looks acceptable for now. I I think that will be more than sufficient. Here we could give it even a color or something, but for now I'll just leave it. Let's focus now on the most important part. So in here, I'm going to work on this. Let me put some extra enters. Then in here, and this is a quite interesting part. So I'm going to create a constant here. And this constant will be called our menu list, which is basically eventually will be targeting this specific item, which will be the menu itself. So here we're going to say the data, and this data will consist of the following. We have here, we have to return. What are we going to return? We're going to create basically a data object. So we're going to return what? We're going to return the menu, and this menu is an object itself so in the menu what we're going to do here is the following we're going to describe what they are well if we have in menu we have four items here we have a few things we have to consider probably here the product id we have a product id we have the product name product price and we have the image uh there you are the product image so we have basically four items here because of that we're going to work and do that right now so the first one will always be the item ID. So we say menu. And we can call this the item ID. And this item ID equals one, comma. Then we have of course the menu item name. So we just which will be pizza one for this one. So menu item name. And here I'm using camel case. Small letter here, and then here all large letter or cat flocks. Alright. So then here. This is a string value, pizza one, comma. What do we have more? Well, we have here, of course, the price. And this will be then the menu item price. And this will be 4.99, which will be eventually this here. You will see later on, it will be nicely shown in here. And finally, we can say here, menu item, IMG or image. And then this, we will say here, I'm going to say food.png. So if I get this here, you might say, hold on, I saw the image here. Where is that? That one. It is not food uh, only, it is everything here. You can do everything, but sometimes you have maybe different sources. So you don't want to do all this, then you want to have maybe uh, this will be, will be concatenated within the item itself. Later on, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so we have this here. Come on, let's add up four pizzas. Here we're doing this, this, that. All right, and here number two, three, and four. I will leave the images here for now. Five, six, and well, let's say nine. All right, let's make these deluxe pizza that are a bit more high end. All right, so we have this here. If I save this, of course, nothing happens here. So how are we able to to insert this in here and this is the really nice thing and if you see my other video where I use this just in JavaScript there's a lot of code we use and now we don't have to do that because we can just grab this and insert it in here nicely by doing the following in here we're basically going to say here this is like a for loop so I say here v for loop basically and then we say here item in menu and what this really means is we're going to grab every item in the object of menu here and this is very, very powerful, or at least for me. When I discovered this, I say, oh my goodness, this is very useful. And this reduces my knowledge or my need for having PHP. But anyway, what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to grab this image here, of course. How do we get this image now active here? 
Well, to do this, we have this image item here, or sorry, the menu item image, which will be based on this, because I need to grab basically this one here. How to do that? Well, I need to say item dot menu item image. And that's basically what we have. So that's how we do it. Let's grab first, for the sake of it, let's do the uh, menu item name, because that's the easiest one. The image is slightly more tricky. So we're going to say here, uh, we're going to put in here double curly braces, and then we say here this, but then instead of normally you might say here in an object is menu item. Why? Because the menu is here. But in this case, we say we're going to rename the menu into item. So we're going to put this in here. Now, if I save this, refresh, all right, uh, it's not working yet. And the reason why is I realized we need to mount it. And mounting basically would mean to connect this code here eventually in here. All right, so let's do that one right now. I'm going to say here, root.create the app. We need to create the app, and this created app will be called the menu list. And it is because of this here, which is this constant here, the menu list. And then we say here dot mount. Basically, we're going to mount it or connect it. Another word for mount is connect or attach. Mount it to which one? So which one are we going to attach it to? We are going to attach it to the ID name of menu. So we say here, hashtag that. Once we did this, we save this, refresh. All right, so now you can see it loops automatically and it grabs already the pizza's name, but of course nothing else yet. So we have this, what I want to do of course now is let's grab and put them all in there together. So we're going to cut this out, put it in here, and what I want to do in here of course, not the menu item or, or menu item name, I want to grab the price. Put the price in here, maybe you can put a space in here, because I noticed that we had here this too much connected to each other, or it's too attached to each other. So if I save this now, refresh, you can see there's a space here, and beautiful, we have all of this here. And maybe put a dollar sign all together, like this. All right, so now the pricing here is working. How do we get the image? So the image, what we need to do is here, column, to indicate this, and then here comes a slightly more tricky part, because basically what we need to do is we need to concatenate this part with this, and this would be whatever we would have in here. So of course, this is just very similar. I'm going to remove this, curly braces, and then we can say item dot image name. But we're not done here now. Why? You can see here, here, this is a part that should be concatenated with that. So what we can do here is single quotation, and then here again, single quotation, and then do plus, very similar in JavaScript concatenation. Save that, refresh, and Nope, let's see what happened. It, it gives an error, all right. So let's see what's going on here. What am I missing? We're probably missing something here that is not correct. Fair enough. Let's double check here, we have this. Uh, let's see, oh, of course. The reason why this is, of course, not working, we are using these parentheses here. Don't use that. No need if we are on a source here. Here we bind the source with the image, and because of this, we don't need that. So then, there you are. You can see here, in the beginning, you can see here, quickly, it loads a bit of the code, and then it loops immediately. And this is very, very useful because of just one reason. Now I have another item. We're going to put in a new item, and this item is number five. And number five is, let's say, water. Water. And water is only 199, and here we type in water. And you see I have a special image already saved for this. Refresh. And all right, number 58. What happened here? Oh, of course, make sure you have a comma here, by the way. Save that. There we are. And scroll down, you can see here now we get our water image. Beautiful. And of course, with the matching price. So, this is basically how you can play around with it. You can add up a lot of items here.